For the past week or so, I have been addicted to two things. One of them, Tekken 8. Two, Reyna. Now you're probably thinking, wait, Reyna's in Tekken 8. What are you talking about? I gotta say it for the record, I have been addicted to Tekken 8. I have not been able to stop playing this game. My last video almost didn't come out because I was too busy playing the game instead of editing. But more on Tekken as a game at a later date, because the focus of this video is on none other than Reyna. I need you all to take a very long look at her. This is what peak woman looks like. She has this whole bad girl punk aura going for her and it, she's just so freaking cool. Like I've never wanted to be beaten up so badly like when i tell you i want her to dislocate my shoulder and kick my knees in oh my oh that would be the experience of a lifetime i want this woman to talk down on me her hair is sick she has drip her eyes are just oh my when she stares at you it's oh. like whenever you do her rage art and it kills and she looks at the camera dude that makes my heart skip like 50 beats i'm just this oh and whenever something like this happens I think it just drives me further to dedicate more time to making sure that I am good at playing my waifu. Because Tekken 8, I can say, is the first Tekken game that I've kind of been starting to take seriously. Like, I'm actually trying to, like, learn stuff and learn frame data and all that stuff. You know, all the nerd stuff that doesn't really matter. And not only is Tekken 8 my first real Tekken, I guess you could say, because I do have a history of playing Tekken. I mean, I played 2, 3, 5. Uh, I played Tag 2. Uh, I also played 7, obviously, on and off. But yeah, Tekken 8 would be the game that I'm really, really investing time into and that is thanks to reyna when i saw that character design and i saw what she was doing i was like what how can you be so cool th th it, it has to be illegal i mean she's also my first mishima because you know i didn't care to play no freaking dudes of course kazuya's sick jin's pretty cool and heihachi is a freaking god but they put a mommy in the mix this time around well technically we already had kazumi who's a real mother but that's beside the point when you put someone like reyna at the forefront of the mishima bro of course I'm gonna hop on. Another thing is that I'm like really into like Tekken's lore and stuff. I think Tekken has some of the wackiest lore ever. I highly recommend Clement J64's video on Tekken's lore. It's so good. This series is just legendary. I know that's obvious, but I feel like I have to say it. I'm really interested to see how she plays out in the story mode. I want to see where that goes. I haven't tried it yet, but I will soon enough. And maybe I'll follow up with my thoughts on it once I do get to it. Oh, and a little fun fact. Reina is voiced by Asami Seto, who is responsible for voicing Nobara from Jujutsu Kaisen and and Sakurajima from Bunny Girl Senpai, so I thought that was pretty cool. But yeah, Reina's been so fun. I've been learning new things every day. I've been playing around with that customization. It's so cool. And because every time I do one of these, I have to say the title of the video. But yes, at the moment, Reina is my current obsession. Hey, but we'll end it there. And now that I'm done recording this video, you know what I'm going to do next. That being said, we're out of here. And I'll see you all in the next one. It has been Otaku Dreams. And that is all she wrote.